We just came up on top of this ridge here and I thought, man, it would be so cool to see something off in the distance, but take a look way the heck out there. We're talking almost 900 yards away. We got some red deer. There's absolutely no way we'll be able to tell what they are, but there's definitely two stags out there for sure. Looks like it's going to be pretty much spot on based on our hunter sense right there. So now all we got to do is wait for that stag to move out of the way. There we go. <sighs> out of breath, out of breath. Actually, I kind of want to go for this one instead because it's a little more broadside. <laughs> Got him. Holy, that was a far shot. Holy, that was a far shot. Wow. 900 yards if anything it's an intestine hit but it's still gonna take down that stag we did hit him a touch bit back but i didn't want to risk hitting too far forward and potentially not getting a nice hit all right let's see if we can check out the blood from this distance here it's actually not looking too promising Although there is blood, it's not looking too promising. But if we did in fact get lucky enough to get intestine, it's going to take him down either way. So what we're going to do is give him a little bit of time to go bed down and then we're going to work our way up that ridge and go try and find him. As we're sitting here waiting for our red deer stag to go down, we just spotted a couple of wild boar just off in the distance over here. Now, one of these could potentially work for a mission. We need to get a wild boar that weighs at least 200 pounds or more. A lot of you guys said last time that we actually used the wrong caliber rifle for them and we lost a bunch of meat, so then the mission didn't count. Other people said that you had to shoot a boar, which would be the male. And I don't believe that's a thing because wild boar is the whole pig species in general. Boar is the male. Sow is the female, but wild boar is everything. So I don't believe that's what it is. Oh, look at that. We got a big one way out there now. Wow, that's the guy that we want to get for sure. So technically, I think as long as we use the right rifle, don't waste too much meat and make a good shot, it should count for the mission. But we're about to go for a 400 yard shot right now. All right, so there's the board that we want. Um, I kind of want to check the wind just to see how much the bullet is going to push. Looks like it's not going to push at all. Okay, perfect. That's all I really wanted to know. Now I want to turn the hunter sense off and then we'll zero in for 320. All right, so now we just got to wait for the right moment. And I'm pretty sure our boar went right behind that brush there. Which is not ideal for a shot, but eventually he should come back out. Or we could go over here and try and square up a little bit more. Oh, much better. Holy, look at all the boar over there. Man, look at them all. All right, which one? would you imagine is going to be the biggest one? It's so difficult to tell. Even in real life, like when you see a bunch of them, they all look the same size. Unless there's like a 300 or 400 pounder, of course, then it's going to stand out. But, I mean, there could be a couple of 200 pounders over there and we just don't know it. So I think we're probably going to go for this guy here. He looks to be kind of the most blockiest shaped hog out there. All right, so here we go. Wow, that shot was absolutely money. What an incredible shot. Holy, it was going right for the heart. It was going right for the heart. All right, so we're going to mark him. <sighs> that was so, so awesome to just see the bullet flying through the air and you can see the impact right above the heart. So you know that boar shouldn't be going far. Now, if you look over here, you can see our red deer was over here. 
we have him marked at 569. Now we have our boar down there at about 380 yards. So for now, let's get over here. Actually, I don't want to run just yet because we could easily kick up our boar as well. So we're just going to kind of take our time and ease our way over there. And then we'll see if we can't find our red deer stag. Whoa. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing right now? That's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good from here. But how did our 900 yard shot? No way. That's unbelievable. A 900 yard vital shot on that stag. All right, so we got good blood there. Good boy there. And then I lost blood. Where'd he go? So we got blood there. Blood there. Blood here. Okay. Got some more blood. It's a good thing we have these things marked because, oh my God, he's down. Whoa. That is not our stag. That's actually a wild boar. That might be the boar that we just shot. Holy, look at the size of the toss on that thing. There's no way that's not gonna break 250 pounds. It's gotta. I mean, the sow broke, hold, that's a huge boar. Hold on guys. This actually, we need a picture for this thing. He's massive. Like I didn't realize how big he was, but then again, when I first saw him, I could tell he was big. And now that we're right next to him here, he looks massive. Like he is one beast of a boar. Like that actually might be a four star boar. Look at the size of that thing. So yeah, we're definitely taking a really, really cool picture of that. Holy, that's a giant. All right, now we're gonna pick him up and find out what it was. First off, the shot was 273 yards and we absolutely smoked that boar double lung and artery with a 308 now we're gonna find out what it was it was only a one star adult okay well it's still a decent size one it's still a re really really decent size one four star heart rating and a one star adult but it weighed 277 pounds so that should be way more than good enough to count and it does in fact count. There we go. A big old boar down. And that is gonna count for our mission. All right, yeah, so I found the blood from our stag and it's seeing red small amounts of blood. Now, I honestly think we made a pretty good shot. In fact, I know it should guaranteed be intestine at least, but because it was so far out, it's probably not gonna give us enough kinetic energy and velocity to be able to take down a red deer even though i guarantee we probably did in fact hit intestine and or lung so what i do want to do is definitely go over there and track him down in fact we got blood right there and we'll put a follow-up on him for sure i tracked that stag for almost one mile finally ran out of blood and never did find it that should have never happened but we have a wild boar out here. It's actually a one star adult, which is a pretty good one. And that's him right there. I do definitely want to go for him because he's a perfect boar to take out of this herd. Smoked. What I was trying to say is that should have never happened on that stag. Absolutely should have never happened. We pretty much shoot 100%, sometimes 90% when we don't make perfect shots. But for the most part, we're pretty accurate. Or I should say, really accurate, because honestly, we just are. And that board just piled up right there. And the reason I'm saying this is because I know for a fact that that 900 yard shot hit exactly where I wanted it to. The same exact thing that happened when I took a 800 yard shot on the wild boar with the seven millimeter um, odd six. Is it the odd six or the odd eight? I forgot. I haven't used it in a while. 7ml8? Yeah. The 7ml8, the same exact thing happened on a wild boar at 800 yards. The second shot we took, we ended up finding it 
and it showed where the exact hit was on the first shot and that was right in the lung but in this case here we have an even bigger rifle and we weren't able to recover our stag But here's our nice wild boar down right here. And there we have a 190 yard perfect double lung shot from way up high. The bullet's going downwards. So it hit absolutely beautifully. And that is our one star adult. So anyways, on that note, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. We got robbed so bad.